right. It's 12.30, I'll call the meeting to order. This is an emergency meeting of the Carver Select Board for July 20th, 2022. Uh, this meeting has been posted with the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 30A, Subsection 20B. If we could all stand for the pledge. All right, uh, Mr. Fennessy, can you update us on the issue with the Cranberry Well Village Wells here? Okay, um, as you recall, uh, when the article was passed at town meeting, um, I think it was Article Eight, and when it, part of that is it had to go to the state, uh, to the legislature, to pass a special act to transfer the the property over to the Cranberry Village um, Group Association. So that was done and it went through three committee hearings um, and at the final point it went to council, to State House Council and to the Executive Office of Environmental Affairs because it relates to a drinking source, water, potable water. And they looked at it and they found a conflict in the language of section one and section two. Section one says that the property has to be held in perpetuity for a, a water source, for a potable water. In section two, the language stated that, and I'll read it, the last part of it, it says, in the event of reversion to the town, under this section, the parcel shall be held by the town for general municipal purposes. So that's a conflict in that, that would say that the town can do whatever they wanted to use it for and it can't be used for anything other than kept in perpetuity as a water source for the, for the townspeople. Mm -hmm. so, so that's what led to this. Um, the, I got a call yesterday from, the, uh, from Mark Pacheco's office, or the day before yesterday, and they were looking to have the board look at this and vote to uh, approve the the change that they're making, um, and it has to be a roll call vote. Uh, and in trying to get a quorum, um, we set a meeting for Friday at 8.30 to have a quorum available. And I got a call today, uh, earlier this today, uh, that it had to be done today, or it would then probably die in committee in this session because they're up against the wall for their hearing. I guess the final hearings are later this week or early next week. So okay. unless we can get it to them, and, and part of this is when, if this is approved by the board, I'll bring it down to the senator's office so they can then move it into Boston right. and get it heard. Thank you, and just a quick question, Mr. Fennessy, either to you or Mr. Corbo, to you. If we amend this language, I believe Part of the language or amending basically said that if Cranberry Village ceased to exist for one reason or another, that the property reverted back to the town of Carver. And, and I think that was primarily so someone else didn't gain control of a, of a well. It could be a developer or something like that. So in your opinion, if we pass this language, is there a way for the town to, to keep something like that in the perhaps the sale agreement or something like that. Uh, yes, through you, Mr. Chair. Um, so what this special act does is it allows the town to convey this parcel of land directly to the owners of Cranberry Village without having, go without having to go through a competitive procurement process under Chapter 30B. Um, however, it does not substantively affect the rights of the town to convey property. Um, and the town does have the ability to convey property subject to a right of reversion. Um, and so when, assuming that this is approved in the legislature, the, the next step to this would be to create a purchase and sale agreement between the town and Cranberry Village 
And one of the conditions of that purchase and sale agreement is that the ultimate deed will have a right of reversion back to the town of Carver. Um, and, and I would like to just clarify um, something that, that Mr. Fennessy mentioned with respect to the conflict between sections one and two. Um, it, it's important to understand for the select board that the language that's being proposed now in section one concerning a conservation restriction and it being held in perpetuity for that purpose was something that was added in by the legislature after approval at town meeting. Um, so the original language voted at town meeting did not include any conditions of um, perpetual use for, for water supply. Um, and you know, in looking back at the deed into the town, I did not see anything in that deed to suggest that the town was acquiring this property solely for water supply or water conservation purposes. Um, and so, you know, this is a, a concern that was apparently raised by um, the Department of Environmental Affairs. And unfortunately, we did not have an opportunity to discuss this with them. I think um, we heard about this just this week. Is that right, Bob? Or Correct. late yeah. last week? Mm -hmm. um, and after it was really too late, you know, because the first thing I said to Bob is, well, rather than getting rid of Section 2, it's an entirety, why don't we just amend the language mm -hmm. a little bit? Um, and he was told, no, it's too late for that, um, you know, which is unfortunate because we could have worked with them had we had sufficient notice. Um, but, you know, in my opinion, um, this is a change that you do have the authority to approve. Um, so under um, the, the Home Rule Amendment, um, a petition has to be approved by town meeting, um, but town meeting does not have to specify the exact form of that petition. Um, and generally speaking, unless town meeting includes a specific limitation, the legislature has the authority to um, approve amendments that are within the general scope and public objectives of the bill. Here, when town meeting voted, it specifically authorized those types of changes subject to approval of the select board. So if this is something that you find is still in the best interests of the town, it is my opinion that you have the authority to, um, to accept these changes um, and to notify the legislature as, as such. And then we can work with the property owner at the time of transfer to work in a, a reverter clause in the deed that actually goes to them. Okay, thank you. Questions from the board? I've got one. Mr. Uh, Carter. So <clears throat> just so I'm clear, the intent that was approved at town meeting um, of transferring this well is being met. So neither the legislature nor the Board of Selectmen is changing the intent of the article, correct? That's correct. Um, my only question would be, what happens in negotiating with um, Cranberry Village? They decide that the right of revision is, is a no-go. They don't want to do it. So this is still um, a negotiation and it's authorization to the select board to convey this property. If the select board decides that at the end of that negotiation, the terms being proposed by Cranberry Village are not in the best interest of the town, the town is not required to convey this property. Thank you. Anything else? Ms. Ewens? Yeah, thank you. Um, so uh, line nine and 10 where it says consideration for the conveyance shall be one dollar and other such such other terms and conditions the select board deems to be in the interest of the town including but not limited to a conservation restriction mm -hmm. to be held by the conservation commission and so on so uh, the way i'm reading that essentially the town has a fair amount of control mm -hmm. it, in other words that well the, the the water supply down there can't be changed into a house <laughs> <laughs> conservation con conservation restriction will maintain it the way it is, uh, one would assume. Well, well that, that's correct. And so again, um, you know, the, what this does is it provides authorization to the town to, to sell the property. And um, the town, you know, at this point still has control to assert whatever conditions in that sale that it, it deems reasonable. And certainly, you know, I think when we were looking at this originally, you know, we thought that, that it was the town's option to include that um, that deed restriction for conservation purposes, apparently the legislature saw it differently, 
Um, but yes, certainly you, at this point, you still have the ability to control the future uses of that property based on the terms of the sale that end up getting put in as a deed restriction. Yeah, great, thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Well, I just wanted to ask Mr. Fennessy one quick question. Um, and I don't. I know this has been a short notice emergency meeting, but have you had a chance at all to speak with the president of the Cranberry Village Association? I, I, mean, I just don't want them to worry yeah. <laughs> that no, this I, is bad because uh, it's not bad. <laughs> I called and uh, Brenda Bacal mm -hmm. and got her voicemail and left a lengthy message oh, oh, until good. it shut me off. <laughs> oh good. But okay. you know, and and said that if you you're welcome to come to the meeting, you can call me afterwards. Give my cell phone number. And That's so great. Thank, thank you very much for doing that. Yeah. And, and, if, and if you could, just as we spoke about earlier, make sure she knows that we also have a meeting Friday morning with I this on the agenda, so if she'd like to come, we, we welcome yeah. her. Okay. Thank you. Is there anything else on the board? All right. Is there a motion on this? Um, yeah, I'd like to make a motion that we approve this um, section one, I guess, is that what we should call it? And section two, as, as written on page one of one in our packet, um, conveying the uh, water, the real property, water wells, pumping station, and other water infrastructure located thereon to the Cranberry Village Residents Association Incorporated. Is there a second? I'm I'll through, second. Okay. Uh, through you, Mr. Chair, if I could just make a suggestion to, um, to, to add to that, that um, the board is accepting the wording of the special act as amended by the legislature. Okay, and so I'll make an amended motion that the, the board is accepting the wording of the amended act um, as provided by the general court. Thank you. We need a roll call. Okay, but, well, do we have a second on I'll that amendment? Okay, uh, motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Mr. Hoffman. Jim Hoffman says aye. Sarah Hewen says aye. Mark Townsend says aye. John Carter says I. All right. Thank you. Uh, that pretty much concludes our business for this emergency meeting. Just before we adjourn, I want to thank everybody for coming together so quickly, especially uh, Mr. Corbo and Area 58 for getting down here so fast to broadcast this meeting for everyone. I appreciate it. And uh, uh, Mr. Chair, before you yes. adjourn, um, yeah. just to let everyone know that the board will be meeting on Friday morning. Um, and I will be available, as will Mr. Fennessy, oh, are you available? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. as Mr. Fennessy to sort of re-explain for the public the things that we just explained to you here, um, just in case someone didn't see the notice of this meeting on time. Um, and, you know, I would be asking during that meeting for you to take a subsequent vote to ratify the decision you made here today. Thank, thank you, and so everyone's aware that was a meeting that was posted with more than 48 hours notice, a, a regular, uh, non-emergency meeting. So uh, with that, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It is unanimous. Thank you.